New Swedish fighter jet shocked the world. While being a country of barely over 10 million people, Sweden has impressed the world by achieving one of the best fighter aircraft programs ever designed. As one can imagine, an aircraft's effectiveness is no longer determined mainly by how fast it can fly. Now, the protagonist is the AI and how instant it can interpret information and have it ready for the pilots to act upon in battle. Unlike its American or Russian counterparts, Swedish Gripen can't carry the most weapons and has no real stealth either. In fact, it isn't the longest range, the fastest, or even the cheapest jet. But nevertheless, Sweden has chosen another niche to compete that will set them up for success. Knowing its strengths, Sweden decided to develop a fighter jet with the most advanced electronics, aiming to become a nightmare for its closest adversary, Russia. The tension between the two countries has lasted since the Cold War, and now it's coming to a high peak. The Russian behavior in the Baltic Sea region has changed. Now the country has shown itself willing to use the military to achieve political goals. Russia's commercial investments in the Baltic and Arctic regions had to be matched by constant defense investments and activities. The objective? Control over natural resources and maritime access. But Russia didn't stop there. They turned Northern Europe into a playground, constantly sending Su-35, 34, and 27 fighters to train over northern waters and probe Swedish airspace without any permission. Pushed by Russia's aggression, Sweden started working on a hasty program of rearmament. This program will result in a raise of about 40% for its military spending, $3.1 billion destined to strengthen its defenses in the next five years. Sweden always relies on technical superiority to achieve combat effectiveness and repel Russian attacks with advanced technology. Historically, the country was always a pioneer regarding military technology. They deployed some of the first data links and electronic warfare systems in its fighters, seen on the Saab 35 Draken and, more recently, the 37 Vigan. That combination of aircraft combat performance, pilot tactics, cost, and availability were all baked into the JAS-39 Gripen. From the beginning, the Gripen was designed with a clear goal in mind, the electronics. You see, the idea behind it was that during a conflict with Russia in the 80s, unsecured voice radio could easily be intercepted or jammed while digital communication was way more secure. The first data sharing between aircraft and ground stations via radio included tactical information such as the speed and altitude of the target or the direction to it shared as a point on a radar scope. The Gripen was designed to be a relatively small aircraft of about six tons when empty. At the time, this was risky because computer technology meeting performance and miniaturization in 1982 just didn't exist yet. This stripped back design also helped. Firstly, because of lowering the cost, it saved $10 million to use for additional General Electric F404 engines and secondly, to give the basis for electronics innovation. The first planned 60 Gripen series was released in December 2020 and handed over to the Swedish Air Force. The Gripen E has an overall length of 15.2 meters, a wingspan of 8.6 meters, and a maximum takeoff weight of 16.5 tons. The aircraft's top speed is Mach 2 at high altitude, and its turnaround time is only 10 minutes in air-to-air -air configuration. Its internal fuel tanks have a total combined capacity of 3.4 tons, which means an approximately 40% upgrade compared to those of its former version, giving the Gripen an extended range for the flight. Saab also increased the fighter's payload by adding the two additional hardpoints, new sensors, and weapons. Now the Gripen E can carry up to seven MBDA Meteor Beyond Visual Range air-to-air -air missiles, it also features the Leonardo ES-05 Raven Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar and the Leonardo Skyward-G Infrared Search and Track Sensor. Not less important, the new Electronic Warfare System features a 360-degree spherical missile approach warning system, and it's also a formidable aircraft in more traditional respects. Agile, fast, capable of cruising at supersonic speeds without afterburners, even when carrying external weaponry and fuel tanks. And because of its smaller size, it has a smaller radar cross-section as well. What does this mean? 
Well, you have to get closer to it or put out more energy from your own radar to be able to detect a Gripen. Because of that, the Gripen can get closer before launching its own missiles, securing a few more kilometers of effective range. To be clear, even with all these features, it's still not enough to compete with the US or Russian fighters in traditional ways, but Sweden has still one more promising feature prepared. For the side of Russia, its Sukhoi fighters have this well-earned legendary status for their ability to outmaneuver US fighter jets in dogfights while pulling off dangerous and aggressive stunts in the air. The Su-57 has two side-facing radars mounted below the cockpit on the aircraft's cheeks, a feature that was long promised for the F-22, but to this day, it has never been delivered. At first glance, the utility of these radars is clear. They provide a far greater detection field that enhances situational awareness for the Su-57's pilot. But with these basic advantages aside, the radars also allow the Su-57 pilot to execute a beaming tactic much better than nearly any other fighter out there. Beaming is the action when a fighter creates a blind spot by turning 90 degrees away perpendicular to the enemy's pulse Doppler radar array. The Su-57 also has an advanced 101KS infrared search and track sensor installed atop the aircraft's nose. This type of sensor provides targeting information to the fighter's missile during flight even while the jet is beaming. But above all else, what stands out with the Su-57 is the possibility to operate and persecute targets while staying electromagnetically silent and giving off no radio emissions. You can imagine how big of a deal this is by comparing it as being hard to detect on a radar these days. To defeat Russia's fearsome fighters and surface-to-air missiles, the U.S. opted to largely turn to stealth aircraft. One of the most challenging goals and the key to its stealth is to approximate the aircraft's temperature with the surrounding atmosphere as closely as possible to eliminate any detectable difference. But stealth costs a fortune and must be built into the shape of the plane. If Russia somehow cracks the code of detecting stealth-shaped fighters, the US's F-35 and all the effort it takes to build would turn obsolete. So with this in mind, Saab took a different and cheaper approach to compete with Russian fighters and its missiles. If one thing sets the Gripen apart from its direct competitors, it's the fact to which the entire aircraft and its systems were designed strictly based on the electronic warfare suite. This gives an advantage over stealth aircraft because electronic software can evolve without a ground-up rebuild. Saab's plans are to update the software on the Gripen every two years, allowing more flexibility to meet the evolving challenge. With the technology behind onboard sensor systems able to update almost as rapidly and easily as the applications in a smartphone, Saab has decided to future-proof the Gripen by designing the avionics in such a way where the software is almost hardware independent. This is seen in the Gripen U, where the hardware and software layers are separated, as well as the flight critical applications are from the mission critical tactical. So to put it in perspective, you'll be able to upgrade your $30 million Gripen as easily as your $700 iPhone. Also, without stopping there, you can additionally install customized apps from different countries as well. As the threat environment quickly changes, one can adapt and make changes in a much faster way as well, while the competitors are busy building totally new fighters from scratch. With AI electronics, the pilot can also select customized automation levels that go from fully manual systems up to completely automatic pilot. Think about it. This means that the pilot can decide if they want to monitor and manage everything, or opt to accept at will the system's suggestions regarding weapons and maneuvering. The technical information is shared and displayed at the exact moment, enabling quick and precise decision-making while taking some pressure off the pilot at the same time. Ultimately, this will allow them to be in control intuitively and overcome their competitors in timing. Alongside its impressive avionics, the Gripen-E provides some very high-end sensors, being the first fighter aircraft to feature an ASA radar mounted on a rotating repositioner or swash plate. What this does is to enable the electronically scanned antenna to be skewed to the left and to the right in order to increase its field of view when normally it's fixed in a forward position. The pilot can now turn away from the target more than 90 degrees and still keep it kicked in its radar range. 
This is especially powerful when combined with the Meteor air-to-air -air missile. The duo of the Meteor missile and the Acer radar on the swashplate is a powerful combination for the grip and e. In theory, the pilot can fire missiles at enemy fighters at extreme ranges and then immediately hide in their radar's Doppler notch while still guiding the missiles to their intended target. The Gripen was built to rise as a true multi-function aircraft in all aspects. Gripen pilots don't like to show the full power of their jets jamming during training, but the only time they played all their cards, it completely reversed the course of the world's best fighter technologies to their side. So this is the end for this video. If you liked it and learned something new along the way, please give us a like. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the upcoming military news videos. We'll see you next time.